Robert Walker and Marsha Hunt in Johnny Comes Home on the Cavalcade of America, sponsored by the DuPont Company, maker of better things for better living through chemistry. But first, here is Gain Whitman. New automobiles are still a long way off for a lot of us. So be sure to get complete winter protection for your car this year. Go to your dealer now before he's swamped with work and have him service the cooling system of your car. He'll clean out rust and scum with DuPont Cooling System Sealer and check the hose connections, cylinder bolts, water pump, fan, and heater. Then you'll be ready to add a dependable DuPont antifreeze, which gives you double protection against freezing and against rust. All of these car protection products are examples of DuPont's better things for better living through chemistry. Our stars of tonight's cavalcade are Robert Walker, who may currently be seen in the MGM production, Her Highness and the Bellboy, and Marcia Hunt, one of the stars of the Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer picture, Letters for Evie. The DuPont Company presents Johnny Comes Home, starring Robert Walker and Marcia Hunt on The Cavalcade of America. is a story of today, a story that began in Albert Lee, Minnesota, on the day when Charlie Myers spoke to his fellow townspeople. And to conclude, fellow citizens, I feel our plan, which we like to call the Albert Lee plan, is right and sensible. It's easy to say no veteran of this war will sell apples on our street corners, but saying it doesn't prevent it. Already more than a hundred people in Albert Lee have bought a share in Jobs Incorporated at $100 a piece, and this is to be used in helping our boys build their own business when they get back. <laughs> I wish I were able to be with one of our boys right now and tell him what we're doing. Tell him that when Johnny comes marching home... Johnny, you awake? Oh, did you figure that I could sleep any with that Jerry out there taking pot shots at me? Between him and this guck I'm sleeping in, I'm not sleeping. Yeah. I've been so wet for so long, I don't even care anymore. Yeah, you know, Johnny, I've been thinking. Didn't you say you was from Albert Lee? That's right, Les. Albert Lee, Minnesota. And, brother, that's a long way off. Did you read anything about that Albert Lee plan? There was something about it in Yank. Oh, they got a plan now. Oh, well, that settles everything. Oh, it ain't so bad. See, the idea is that the returning soldier reports... Reports. If you ever catch me reporting to anybody when this is over, you can put it down that I'm nuts. <laughs> if those city fathers think I'm going to fall for any of that stuff, they're all wet. All I've done in this man's army is get shoved around by a lot of guys with plans. Reporting here, reporting there, yes, sir, no, sir, line up, fall out, get going, slogfoot. It... Oh, well, what's the use of talking about it? I'm going back to sleep. I, uh, <clears throat> I was going back to sleep. Well, maybe you'll feel different when you get back. Gee, I certainly wish Brooklyn had a gag like this plan of yours. What do you mean, my plan? All I want is to be let alone when this is over. This whole mess is what it is because a bunch of guys had plans. I don't like plans, and I'm going to figure things out for myself. Well, gee, don't get sore at me about it. Well, what does it amount to? One guy has a plan, and it doesn't agree with another guy and his plan. That Jerry there... He's got a plan that if he keeps shooting in long enough, he'll hit something. And I got a plan to sleep. So what happened? I don't sleep. Hey, you guys, where you been? I've been looking all over for you. Oh, we've been right here all the time, Sarge. Outfit's moving across the river. There's a Jerry sniper in that house over there. Oh, oh are you no, telling us? I'm kidding. Yeah, so we're going to make it safe. Oh, I knew there was a catch in this somewhere. Say, Sarge, uh, it wouldn't do any good to tell you that I haven't had any sleep. Not any whatsoever for more than three days now, would it? Orders is orders, Private Adams. When the CO told me his plan, I said, I know the very man to handle the situation. You see what I mean about plans, Lance? Sure, sure. But what can you do? Well, I know what I'm going to do if I live through this clam bake. And most of that concerns... It. Hey, isn't that a little kid over there? Huh? Hit the dirt. It's a jury plane. Stop, Johnny. Turn right at us. I like that. He hit the house where that sniper was. Oh, come on. Let's have a look. Gee whiz. He sure is 
sure didn't leave much of this place. Oh, where's that kid? What kid? I tell you, I saw a kid over here. A little kid? Yeah. Oh, look. What's that? Just a toy. Nothing fancy, just a toy that kid had. Oh, God. That's all that's left. Gee, it's uh, sort of busted up, ain't it? Well, you can fix the toy. That's easy. But what about that kid? Come on. Don't start thinking Johnny will go nuts. Yeah. Well, well uh, like I was just saying, Sarge, uh, you see, Johnny, Johnny don't have to worry when this thing is over. His town has a swell idea worked out for the veterans. Oh, boy, I wish Brooklyn had something like it. Okay, okay, Les, but I'm still asking one question. Who wins? People don't do things for nothing. When somebody makes a plan, he makes it so that he's going to get something out of it. Well, I don't want any part of it. When I get back, brother, all I want is some fun. I figure me and my girl Jane have got plenty of fun coming to us. You ready to go home, Jane? Wait. Is it, sir? I had to get these letters out. And look at this pile. Every town in the United States is writing. It's about our Albert Lee plan. Oh, here's a letter for you. It was in the mailbox in the outside office. It's from Johnny. Oh, I hope it's good news, Jane. Oh, Thor, he's coming home. Johnny's coming home. Oh, that's wonderful. I, uh, I guess I'll be losing your best girlfriend, won't I? Oh, I'm sorry, Thor. He's a lucky guy having you to wait for him. It's, uh, it's always been Johnny as far as you're concerned, hasn't it? I guess it always will be, Thor. There's just something about that gay spirit of Johnny's. The way he smiles and kids and... And the fun it is to be with him. It's all I want. And so it's awfully good to know that he'll be coming to a town that wants him. If you'd practice your music once in a while, Susie, you wouldn't have to play the piano with one finger. I'm not really trying to play anything. You going out? Mm-hmm, picture show. Can I go, too? You've got school tomorrow. Oh, life is so nauseating. Little sister can't do anything. Little sister has to go to bed early, has to eat her cereal, has to do this and that, but big sister gets away with murder. A movie show isn't generally classified as murder. Who's your date with? Thor. Is he in love with you? Well, I never ask him. Why don't you ask him? I always ask right off every time I meet a new dreamboat. I figure a girl's got a right to know. Oh, there's your date. Come on in. The door's open. Oh, Jeep. It's Johnny. It's Johnny. Hello, Susie. Hello, Jeannie. Oh, Johnny. Johnny, you're home. That's right, darling. Oh, when did you... Why didn't you... <laughs> I thought I'd surprise you. Well, go into a clinch, you two. I've got to tell Mother you're here. Don't go away, Johnny. I'll be right back. Oh, Johnny. Hey, hey. <laughs> you're not crying, are you? Mm-hmm. Oh, honey, it feels so good to have my arms around you again. I've been so scared for you, Johnny. Were you? You never said so in your letters. Oh, I, I, I didn't want you to know. I, I wanted you to think I was being very brave and all that. Oh, your letters were wonderful, darling. In fact, they were so good, I used to let some of the boys read them. Uh, they didn't have anyone like you. Johnny, you didn't. Oh, sure I did. And you know what else? They think that my Jane is just about perfect. Oh, I, I guess we're even then. I, I shared your letters, too. Oh, you did. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. From now on, I won't have to run every morning to the mailbox hoping there's something from you. You're here. You're home. I, I can't even believe it here. <clears throat> well, I could do with a little kiss along about now. Come on, give me one. You're not going to miss it. Well, let's do. Oh. <laughs> Darling, you're out of this world. Jane... Uh, you got to forgive me, honey, but out there, a guy gets to thinking a lot of funny things. Uh, is it still us? Oh, yes, darling. It's Jane and Johnny. Yeah, now, uh, how does that coat feel, Johnny? Mm -hmm. Look, I think I'll take it in a little bit under the shoulder. Oh, well, I don't like your ties. Uh, let your arms hang loose by your side. Oh, don't shorten the sleeves any, Steve. Do they feel all right? Oh, perfect. Ah. Well, I guess that makes you a civilian. Yep. Oh, my gosh, a civilian. <laughs> Look at me, ain't I beautiful? 
Oh, boy, would I like to run into an MP now. That's it. <laughs> oh, that's a dirty trick. Oh, I couldn't resist it. How are you, Johnny? Welcome back. Oh, fine, thanks, Nora. I saw you from the street just now. Jane said you were here a couple of weeks ago, but you were still in uniform. Yeah, wow. well, I got my discharge yesterday. Yeah, I know how that feels. Well, I guess Johnny will be going up to see Charlie Myers now, huh? Charlie Myers? What for? The Albert Lee plan. Oh, sure, sure. I can hardly wait. Oh, Charlie's expecting you, Johnny. Uh, is there a law that I've got to see him? No, but the whole idea is to help veterans. Yeah, I'll bet. Well, what's the matter, Johnny? Don't you think it's any good? Well, maybe I'd rather do my own planning. Maybe I don't want anything from anybody. Well, you're going to marry Jane, aren't you? Yeah. Well, what are you going to live on? Her money? Now, wait a minute, Thor. No, 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 no trouble, boys. Look, not my shop. Maybe you've got some money of your own. How long is that going to last? What business is it of yours? Well, I happen to like her very much. Now, don't get it wrong, Johnny. I, I went out with her plenty, but there's only one guy for her, and that's Johnny Adams. She deserves something better from you than just a general idea that a fairy godmother is going to turn pumpkins into dollar bills. If it wasn't for you, Johnny, I, I think Jane might be marrying me. Well, whichever way it is, we'll work it out for ourselves, Thor. As a matter of fact, Jane and I aren't even going to stay here in Albert Lee. We're getting out. Does she know that? I'm telling her tonight. And just to make something clear, I learned in this war that before I agree with what a guy does, I want first to know what's in it for him. The same thing goes with this plan. Who wins? Brother, it isn't me. Nobody ever chased me down in order to give me something for nothing. Uh, okay, Steve, let's settle up for that new suit. Jane, <clears throat> let's get married. Oh, Johnny, you talked me into it. All right, then we'll go to New York or Hollywood or Chicago, any place. Honeymoon? No, to live. But, Johnny... Well, I've been thinking, honey. You know I'm pretty good at making things, doing shop work and carpentry and all that. Yes. I, uh, I could get a job in some factory someplace. Well, why not here? Well, is this the only town on Earth? No, but it happens to be the one I like best. I know lots of people here, and, and I like them. And that makes a big difference. I can see why we can't begin things here. Well, because I want something I do myself. I, I don't want anything handed to me. Well, you could get a job here or even begin some sort of business. Get a job? There aren't any jobs here. That's not true. Jobs Incorporated... Look, I is... don't want anything from anybody. I don't want to have any part of this plan of yours. I, I, I can figure things out for myself. Well, that's fine, darling. But you're objecting to something you don't know anything about. I don't want to know anything about it. I went through the war on my own two feet, and I'll keep going that way. Can't things just be the same as they used to be? No, Johnny. Not even between us. You see, I care a whole lot more than I did before. Because all this time I've been worrying about you. And I've seen other girls who lost someone they cared about. Those things make a difference. Even the town's different. We've got our wonderful plan yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Well, we've got it all worked out so that you boys coming home aren't going to get a pat on the back and then be told to shift for yourselves. Yeah, yeah, sure, Jane. Look, uh, how about getting up another crowd to go up to the lake Saturday? You ought to see Charlie Myers and talk it over with him. Talk what over? Tell him you're back. He's the one to see about getting started for yourself. I'll, I'll get started. What's the hurry? I got a little dough saved up, and I get something more when I get my discharge. But if we're going to get married, that money won't go very far. Oh, Jane, quit worrying, will you? Well, if you don't care enough about trying to make it right and, and substantial, I care. Well, so do I, honey. But is it a crime to want to begin things in another city? Well... Supposing you don't get a job someplace else, what then? Well, we'll move on. Is that your idea, an ideal married life? Oh, look, I, I, I don't like this plan. You don't know enough about it to have an opinion. That's the trouble with a lot of people. They get into a fine state of fury about something they don't even want to know anything about, and they won't listen. Well, maybe if you'd lived under army regulations as long as I did... Oh, you'd... Johnny, don't think we don't understand what you went through. If, if we didn't care, there'd be no Albert Lee plan. Are we going to leave this town or not? Well, when people get married, Johnny, what they do concerns two people and not one. Well, just tell me so I'll know. Are we going to leave this place? This is my hometown, Johnny. I like it. I like what we're doing here. And I don't think going away would be solving anything. All right. That's all I wanted to know. Good night.
You're listening to Robert Walker as Johnny and Marsha Hunt as Jane in Johnny Comes Home on the Cavalcade of America, sponsored by the DuPont Company, maker of better things for better living through chemistry. When Johnny was a little boy, he got scolded every now and then. And because his heart was heavy, he'd go down into his basement workshop to be alone. And now, Big Johnny is there again, working with tools he put away the day he left. Johnny, can I come down? Is that you, Susie? I asked your mother where you were, and she said you were down here, and I had to come down to see you because I've got a problem I want to talk over with you, and I was hoping you'd remember about your shot. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Take it easy, honey. Now, very slowly, what's the matter? I got a friend now. Oh, really? What's his name? Sam. Sam? Oh, oh, he's a boyfriend? Well, Nat, don't be silly. I'm not a child anymore. Oh. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Know what he did? No, what did he do? Broke his kid brother's hobby horse. Backed over it with his rod. Rod? What's a rod? Johnny, believe me, you've been away too long. A rod is a cut-down, hopped-up jalopy. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, now, uh, what about the hobby horse? And so I brought over some wood that Mr. Styler let me have. He's got a whole pile of it in his lumber yard. He says it's only waste and he's going to burn it. So what I want to know is... Yeah, will I fix the hobby horse? It needs a new head. All right, you bring it over and I'll fix it. Johnny, you're terrific. Well, thanks, Susie. You're kind of terrific yourself. You and Jane had a fight last night, didn't you? I listened. You didn't? Mm-hmm. Well, it, uh, it wasn't serious. It wasn't? Well... Look, don't you ever fight with, uh, Sam? Sure, but I always win. Oh. Well, I'm not that lucky, honey. I'm sorry you didn't win. That guy Thor is kind of nauseating. What's Thor got to do with it? Well, I guess you'll marry him now. Did she say so? In a way. In a way? Did she or not? Well, he was there this morning, and I heard him say that he felt that now he had the right to ask her to marry him, and Jane said she thought he had. Oh, you down there, Johnny? Uh, who is it? Charlie Myers. Oh, uh, come on down. I, um, I guess you better run along, Susie. Johnny, you're solid. And if you don't make up with Jane, well, well, I'll lose my respect for human beings. Oh, hello, Mr. Myers. I saw your little boy in the drugstore, and he was positively nauseating. So long. Well, trouble with, with Jane, Johnny? Well, yeah, I guess so. She uh, didn't like my idea of moving away from here. Oh, well, maybe we should uh, talk some other time. Oh, it's all right. It's all right, Charlie. Stick around. Nice shop, Johnny. Thank you. I always figured I'd fix up a workshop like this someday. Did Jane ask you to come and see me? Uh, where'd you get the wood, Johnny? Oh, Susie brought me the stuff from Styler's Waste Lumber. I'm going to fix up a toy. There's enough wood here to make quite a few toys. Oh. What's this? Hmm? Oh, that's it. It's a, it's a toy I picked up in Italy. Johnny, would you say I was a liar? No, why? I am. Jane did ask me to come by. Oh. You want me to come down and ask the city fathers, please, can I go to oh, work? Well, that's not the way it's done, Johnny. Matter of fact, I only wanted to correct a misconception. Not for your sake, but just because it isn't good to have a wrong story circulating. What story? Nobody is getting anything out of this, Johnny. Oh, Charlie, don't hand me that. I'm not a green kid anymore. If you understood how it works. Now, for instance, here you've got an idea. You're making toys out of waste lumber. Styler's going to burn the lumber. Supposing you bought that stuff. That's good business for him. Then supposing you started to manufacture toys on a large scale. Well, now, that takes a factory and workers. They both cost money. The town will back you, Johnny, if your scheme is right. In fact, if it's all right with you, I'd like to take it up with the board of directors of Jobs Incorporated. Oh, yeah, just like I said. Report to the board of directors, report to the departments, and then the red tape winds around you so fast... Oh, it's... hold on, Johnny. That's just not the way it goes. All right. What other way is there? There's the way Jobs Incorporated works. Well, how's that? Well, every applicant has a sponsor. Uh, in fact, I'd like to act as your sponsor, Johnny. <laughs> okay, sponsor. So, uh, what do you do? Well, I take your idea at the board. If they approve, I'll get the ball rolling, so all you have to do is step in and go to work. Well, now, wait a minute. If your board thinks there's a business in these toys, you mean they'll loan me money, help me set up, show me my market and all that, all without charge? That's it, exactly. But what's the deal? Who wins? The deal, Johnny, is that another going concern in Albert Lee is to the advantage of everyone in town. The more people working, the more we'll sell, and the better we'll all live. That's what's in it for us, Johnny. And for you. <laughs> you think it over. <laughs> May 
I come in, Jane? Johnny. Hello, Thor. Well, how are you, Johnny? Susie told me that you were going to be here. How did she know? Oh, Susie knows all, sees all, and believe me, she tells all. Well, look, I, I want to say something. Something that isn't too easy. It's about you two. I, uh, I saw Charlie Myers last night, and I decided to stay here, after all, not to go away. But at the same time, I figure you ought to know that, well, if you two want to go ahead with your plans, why, well, it's okay with me. I mean, uh, there's no strings attached. What are you trying to say, John? Well, when a guy cares a lot about a girl and it just looks like it's not going to work out, I figure it's best to tell her that if there's anyone else, it's okay. Maybe there's a better way of saying it, Jane, but since you've decided that it's going to be Thor instead of me, I... Well, I just wanted you to know I think it's swell. Thor's a great guy. Oh, Johnny. Johnny, did you think... Oh, Susie told me that you and Thor had decided to get married. Oh, she did. Well, Johnny, since you've been away, Susie has decided that she's on this earth for just one reason. To make things come out right for everybody romantically. Oh. Well, then it's, uh... It's not true. For your information, Johnny, there's only one guy in Jane's life, and I'm not the one. But don't misunderstand me. I'd rather be Johnny Adams than anyone I know. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight now. You mean uh, it's still us, Jane? Well, that's the way I feel about it, Johnny. Ah, well, blessings fall upon little Susie, the scamp. Then you are staying, Johnny. Well, you couldn't drag me away from here now. Oh, and look, Jane, I, uh, I've got a big idea, a really big one, but I need help. What kind of help? The kind of help a girl like you can give me. You're not going for it. Well, uh, you two have got a lot to talk over, and any way you look at it, I'm excess baggage. Johnny, good luck in every way, and I mean it. Thanks, Thor. I'm sorry I got mad at you in the tailor shop. I enjoyed it. So long. So long. Bye. You know, he's all right, Jane. He thinks you're pretty good yourself. Johnny, what's your idea? Well, I'm going to open up a factory. Under, under the Albert Lee plan? <laughs> you don't think I could do it any other way, do you? No, I don't. What are you going to make? Toys. Toys? Oh, that sounds exciting. Well, how did you happen to decide on toys? Well, several reasons. It's all tied up with Susie and a kid in Italy and you two. Honey, do you remember you said that married life isn't just a matter of one person? Well, this is all a part of us. I need your help, Jane. Really? You're not just... Oh, no, honey, honest. If the board of directors approves my plan, from then on, it's us together. That sounds good, doesn't it? It is good, Johnny. <laughs> Gentlemen of the Board of Directors of Jobs Incorporated, the plan of Johnny Adams of this community to set up a new manufacturing company has been approved unanimously. Oh, 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 oh. Larson, deliver those machines and supplies over to Johnny's shop tomorrow. Your yeah, sure thing, Charlie. First thing in the morning. <laughs> Larry, you'll have to do better than that. You're the manager of the variety store here. Okay, got... okay. I'll take all the toys Johnny can turn out. But remember, it's only ten weeks till Christmas. It's a long way from a rifle to one of those machines, Art. Do you think you can handle it all right? I think so, Johnny. Well, come on, boy. We got toys to turn out for Christmas. That's me, isn't it? Oh, we're going great, Jane. I brought the list, Johnny. Swell. You know, we really need more help. Uh, let's see. George Callahan's a good bet. He's got a shop of his own. And uh, there's Larry Williamson. Mm -hmm. You know, he was in Africa when I was there. Oh, he's blind, John. Yeah, I know. But uh, we'll fix it up so he can work at something. Oh, that's wonderful. And Milton Feinberg. I want him. And Joe Albright. He was on Okinawa, wasn't he? Yeah. I remember him in high school. Did terrific things in the shop. That's right, boss. Uh... Oh, Jane, lay off, will you? Nobody's boss around here. We're all in it pitching together. And for your information, something awfully good happens inside of you when you work with other people and they work with you. Didn't you know that, Johnny? Well, maybe I just didn't want to admit it. I guess I'd forgotten that people can be good if you give them half a chance. That was the idea behind the Albert Lee plan. Only we figured on giving the return soldier every chance. Oh, it's a great idea, Jane. I guess I was all mixed up, but everybody gets mixed up once in a while. Who wins, I asked. <laughs> Maybe I should have said who loses. Oh, Jane. What? Do you know you're a very pretty girl? I am. 
Thank you, Johnny. And may I remind you that in all the excitement of getting the factory started and the men hired, you overlooked a minor detail. What? He forgot to marry me. Oh, oh, my George, I'm glad you reminded me. <laughs> Here, uh, uh, take a letter. Oh, Johnny, have a heart. The world isn't all business. Ready? Dear Jane, mm. on Saturday, there will be a meeting of a group of friends to witness the wedding of Jane and Johnny. Well, at long last. Hey, now, wait a minute. Don't tear up that letter. File it under plans, honey. The Johnny Adams plan for a lifetime. Thank you, Robert Walker and Marcia Hunt. In a moment, Mr. Walker will return to our cavalcade microphones. Now, here is Gain Whitman. The DuPont Company has already begun plant expansion for peacetime products, which are expected to bring about an all-time high in peacetime employment. Through the unprecedented effort for war production, we've improved our experience and our products. As a result of war requirements, we have added to our products and thereby have laid a broader foundation upon which to build for the future. Market conditions of recent years have left a great pent-up demand for the products of industry. Toward meeting this demand, we can say that we have the manpower, the woman power, the tools, the research personnel and equipment, the knowledge and the background. Plant expansion already is being undertaken by the DuPont Company. A 400-acre plant site for the manufacture of plastics has been purchased near Parkersburg, West Virginia. A program to increase nylon production includes a $10 million expansion project in nylon yarn production at Martinsville, Virginia. Nylon bristles and molding powder will be among the products made at Parkersburg. A new plant, estimated to cost $20 million, is now under construction near Orange, Texas, to produce basic raw materials for nylon manufacture. A plant will be constructed at Laporte, Texas, the first unit to produce phenothiazine, a chemical synthetic for ridding livestock of internal parasites, which normally cost the nation an estimated $125 million damage yearly. In general, as we see it now, and assuming no seriously abnormal business conditions, the new projects and products which DuPont is launching, together with increased outlets for existing products, are expected to give rise to an all-time high in DuPont's peacetime employment for the making of better things for a better living through chemistry. And now, here is Robert Walker. Next week, Cavalcade presents that tough and tender guy, Humphrey Bogart, in a tale of adventure in the deep. It's a story of battle against superstition and danger aboard a submarine, and how out of it grew a relationship as close as father and son. It's a great part for Humphrey... And you bet I'll be listening right along with you. So the big news next week is my son John starring Humphrey Bogart on the Cavalcade of America. The music for tonight's DuPont Cavalcade was composed and conducted by Robert Armbruster. Our Cavalcade play was written by Philip Gelb and Forrest Barnes. The cast included Louise Erickson as Susie, Charles Carroll, Howard McNear, Jerry Hausner, Sidney Miller, and Ken Peters. This is Tom Collins inviting you to listen next week to Humphrey Bogart in My Son John on the Cavalcade of America, brought to you by the DuPont Company of Wilmington, Delaware. This is the National Broadcasting Company.